Hey what's up YouTube, it's around the quick video. Well today I'm doing the unboxing, first impressions, and update video. This time it comes from the house of Emporio Armani. It's a flanker from their 2017 release, Stronger With You. We got Stronger With You Intensely. So Stronger With You Intensely from the House of Emporio Armani is an oriental woody fragrance released in 2019. The nose behind this fragrance is Cecile Maton and is an Eau de Parfum concentration. Alright, let's check out the presentation. Alright, so here is the box for Stronger With You Intensely. Not going to spend too much time on this box. It's very reminiscent to the original release, Stronger With You, back in 2017. Uh, it just has a darker box and some gold straps here, I believe. Uh, but other than that, not too much going on with this box. Let's check out the bottle. Alright, so here's the bottle for Stronger With You Intensely. Again, not going to go too much detail about this. Looks exactly the same as the original release. Uh, has the same cap and everything. Nice metal cap. Uh, smoke gray atomizer. This fragrance does come in three sizes. 30ml, 50ml, and 100ml. Alright, so the notes for Stronger With You Intensely. In the top we have pink pepper, juniper, and violet leaf. In the mid we have lavender, sage, toffee, and cinnamon. And in the base we round things off with tonka bean, suede, and amber. Alright, so I don't know too much about this fragrance. Uh, I don't think it's released in the States yet. I did get this for about 90 bucks from Canada. Uh, but I did go to Fragranica to get all the information that I listed earlier. Uh, and saw that it got a lot of dislikes on there. I'm not really sure why. Maybe because it's another designer release. Another sweet designer release at that. Uh, I did like the original Strong With You. I think I actually put it in a, like a top 10 fall or winter list last year. And if this one was anything like that one, I'm probably going to like this one. And it's an Eau de Parfum as well. So it's probably going to have better performance. So uh, let's go ahead and give this one our first impressions. All right, here we go. Pop the cap. Clean hand. Here we go. Okay, atomizer. Hmm. Okay, I'm definitely getting the DNA from the original in this. Yeah, it smells like the original. Um, though there's no pineapple in this, I really thought that the DNA uh, of Stronger With You, the original, came from the pineapple, but this doesn't have pineapple in it, but I'm still getting that same DNA. So I'm getting some fruitiness, or at least what I thought was fruitiness, um, but there's no fruit in this, I don't think, from the notes that I have. That opening um, is kind of fading off now. Uh, at least I would think that there's some kind of citrus notes in this, but I don't see any in the, in the notes here either. So yeah, I'm definitely getting like a sweet vanilla. It's smoky. It's spicy. It's warm. Getting a little of that lavender, a little, little bit of green from the sage. The cinnamon's making it spicy as well. Kind of giving it a bit of a woody uh, spiciness. The toffee's probably giving it that sweetness since there is no vanilla in this. It's probably going to be the toffee. The, the tonka's giving it some nuttiness. The amber's giving it a bit of warmth. I'm not getting the suede right now. I'm sure it's in there. Yeah, um, just off the first, I don't know, 15 seconds, I'm definitely going to say I like this one better than the original. Um, something about the dry down of the original I wasn't a big fan of. It was like super smoky and it came off a little plasticky, I think, if I recall, because I don't have that one anymore. But this one, I'm surprised there's no citruses in this one. I really am getting some sort of a citrus note in this. But yeah, this is nice, guys. Uh, I can see how this would be crowd-pleasing. If you like the original, you're going to love this one. Uh, off the bat, I would think slightly, I don't know, they're, they're kind of similar. I would say this one's going to be the better composition. I would say if you owned the original, you might not want to buy this one. Uh, but again, who knows? It's only been in maybe, you know, two minutes. You know, it could change completely and turn it into something else. Uh, but right now, I do like this one more than the original. Yeah, this one's definitely an oriental woody. Yeah, it's sweet. It's got the cinnamon in there. I'm definitely getting that a lot more now. That DNA from the original um, is wearing off now. So maybe that's in the first maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And that's fading off. I'm really left with a lot of the pink pepper. The cinnamon. The tonka. Yeah, um, this one's definitely nice. It's a lot nicer than the original. I'll probably say that again in the update. Uh, depending on where this goes, I'm assuming this is going to keep going in a good direction. I'm getting a little of that suede that's coming in now, so it's getting a little leathery. I'm getting that vibe, which is nice. Um, you know, definitely a sexy fragrance, guys, from what I can tell so far. Definitely going to be crowd-pleasing. Uh, this is going to be definitely for the fall and winter, the cooler months. I can already just picture myself wearing this in, in like colder weather, actually. Yeah, that cinnamon in this is definitely giving this a nice, cozy, uh, you know, feeling that you would like to wear this fragrance on a, like a really, really cold day. Um, I can picture just being outside wearing this. The cinnamon and the suede are actually kind of mingling a little bit right now. And it smells really nice. 
All right, guys, so my kitchen light just went out behind me here, so I lost a little bit of light. If you can't tell, it's getting a little bit different. Uh, but I'm still here, and the fragrance is still going uh, very well. Yeah, the suede's getting better. Cinnamon's still there. Definitely an oriental woody. It's sweet. It's woody. Little bit leathery. Um, it's spicy. Uh, I do like this fragrance, guys. I'm going to wear this fragrance over the next couple of days and uh, give you an update shortly. Hopefully, my light will be fixed by then. Talk to you then. All right, guys, so I just got back from my trip to Chicago, and as you can see, they fixed my kitchen light. So let me give you an update on Emporio Armani, Stronger With You, Intensely. All right, so I spent a few days with this fragrance, and I must say I do like it. Uh, did keep a lot of the best parts of the original, but it kind of had its own personality. So let's talk about what I like about this fragrance. So this fragrance opens up with that nice woody cinnamon note uh, and some toffee, some tonka bean, uh, a little bit of amber in there. There's a lot of sweet notes in this. There's no fruit in it, uh, which is kind of crazy because I you know, sort of thought that the DNA was made up of uh, fruit notes, uh, but there's no fruit in this. Uh, so obviously the DNA comes from somewhere else. Uh, but you know, the opening was one of my favorite parts of this fragrance. So after a little bit comes a dry down, you really are left with a nice powdery, sweet, uh, sort of uh, gourmand type of scent that was really nice uh, and definitely kept me interested throughout the life of the fragrance. Longevity for this fragrance was excellent. I got eight plus hours. I would even give it more than that, but I want to be fair and just say eight plus hours for sure because I could smell it uh, on myself after eight hours. But I mean, I got to say the next day after I wore it, I was in the shower and the steam really steamed it up. And that was, you know, 12 hours later and I could still smell it coming off with help of the steam. Uh, but still, you know, like the little, when it gets, the heats up a little bit, I can still get it on my skin. Uh, and I was really surprised by that. Uh, but then again, it is an eau de parfum. So definitely going to be a stronger juice in the original. Projection was above average, but it didn't project as much as I thought it would being an EDP. I thought it would really fill up a room. Uh, my skin, it really didn't. Uh, it was nice. The first three hours were pretty strong, uh, but it settled down quite a bit and it didn't really reach across the room like I thought it would. Uh, but still, you know, not bad projection for this fragrance. Seasons, I would say, if you guys haven't guessed, it's going to be definitely fall and winter, the cooler or colder months. Uh, this is a thick, heavy, sweet fragrance. Uh, so it's definitely going to be able to cut through that cold. Probably going to be definitely too cloying in the warmer weather. So fall and winter for sure. Ages I would say are going to be 18 and up. This is a very sweet, uh, you know, juvenile fragrance. I would say maybe the cinnamon note gives it a bit of maturity, but I don't think it's enough that the younger guys couldn't pull off. Occasions for this fragrance, I'm definitely going to say are going to be like date night, uh, you know, uh, going out to a club, dinners, anything at night. Uh, you know, it's sweet enough to be worn casually, like out to a club, uh, but it's, uh, you know, mature enough and sexy enough to, you know, wear dressed down if you're wearing a suit and tie or something like that. Definitely a nice fragrance for night occasions. Price for this fragrance. It's going to be about 85 bucks. I think it's what I paid for mine. I'm not really sure what Macy's going to charge for this one when they finally get it in the States. Uh, but I paid 85 bucks for 100 mil. Probably uh, more at Macy's because they tend to charge more for eau de parfum concentrations. Uh, I'd venture to say maybe over $100. Right now, 85 bucks for 100 mil is what I paid for mine. Overall, I'm going to say I do like this fragrance. I don't love it because it does remind me of the original. If I had my choice of the two fragrances, I'd definitely pick this one over the original. Uh, this one isn't as... Um, I mean, I guess maybe I didn't like that fruit note, and there was a bit of a plastic kind of note in the original as well that I didn't like. Uh, this one has the smokiness, but it doesn't have that plastic note that I didn't like. Possibly that came from the fruits, I'm not really sure, but this one does not have it. This one's more mature, uh, definitely more for a guy my age, I'm 38. Uh, the, the cinnamon note gives it a nice woodiness, uh, but I do like gourmand, so the, to uh, the tonka bean and the toffee uh, and, and the amber give it a nice sweetness and a sexiness uh, that I just couldn't find the original. But it is a really nice fragrance, and I would definitely suggest getting your nose on it. I'm not going to say go out and, uh, you know, blind buy it, but definitely try it when it comes to the States. Um, very sexy fragrance here, guys. I really enjoyed it. If you thought the original was missing in a couple of areas, uh, maybe Strong With You Intensely is for you. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching another video on my channel. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider signing up for notifications by hitting that notification bell. That way, when I upload new videos, you'll be the first to find out. Please follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. Please like, comment, subscribe. And as always, until the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.